Welcome to your Employee Self-Service Portal training video. The next five minutes or so will provide information on how to navigate through the site as well as perform specific functions. Please obtain the login links as well as your ID and password for the timekeeping system from your timekeeping provider. The Employee Self-Service Portal is a convenient way to empower employees with self-management permissions via the internet. The first page is the Welcome Dashboard, which contains announcements and statistics specific to your login. Announcements are messages that the management team would like to share with you, such as a company lunch, annual review appointments, and so on. You can access various pages from the left menu. The first is the web clock, where you can clock in or out, or if applicable, enter additional information, such as job, department, tips, mileage, or anything that applies to your company's requirements. Next, you can perform a number of functions through the time card. Primarily, you can view your hours worked. Depending on the permissions given, you may be able to add a note to the time card by clicking on the pencil icon. You may also be able to add or edit your time card, as well as approve the time card at the end of the pay period. The approval process is simple and ensures that you have made a full review of your time card. This can be accomplished in two ways. One, select specific days by clicking on the yellow image, then hover over time card options, approve time card, then click approve selected. The second option is to approve the entire pay period by choosing Approve All Entries. The third option on the left is to view the hours you are scheduled to work, which has been specified by your supervisor. Fourth is the option to request time off. This is one of the features that is most utilized because it creates convenience for you and saves time for your manager. You will choose the category from the dropdown. The options are set specific to your company's requirements. Next, choose the date, the amount of hours, and provide a description. Once you have clicked Send Request, the supervisor will be notified via email and the request will populate in the administrative portal. Once the request has been approved or rejected, the request will populate in the appropriate section. If your manager makes an adjustment to the request, it will be considered conditionally approved, which means you will need to either accept or reject the manager's change. Next, you can run an accruals report. The accruals feature will have to be activated before this page calculates. If the settings are in place, you can see how many PTO hours are available for a specific date range. This allows you as the employee to plan your personal time off accordingly. And last, you can update your personal information, which includes your password, phone number, and email address. Also, you have the option to receive an email when your time off request has been approved or rejected, but you do have to opt in by checking this box. We hope you enjoy the Employee Self-Service Portal, and thank you for watching this video.